Shabbat Shalom, and welcome to Congregation Beth Israel in Houston, Texas. We're glad that you've joined us on this Shabbat. Shabbat is our day of rest and joy that allows us to create a separation from all that may have occurred during the week. May our prayers, words, and songs help to elevate your soul and bring you comfort, strength, and peace on this day. Please enjoy our service. For the opportunity to be together, visiting family members and friends, appreciative of this day, a day which allows us to spend time reflecting in prayer and gratitude to God for all of the blessings we have in our life. Shabbat begins as we sing Lecha Dodi, as we welcome the Sabbath bride. Lecha Dodi, Shabbat Shalom. Lecha Dodi, Likrat Kala, Likrat Kala, Continue now with a blessing over our Shabbat candles as we turn to pages two and three. On page three, we read together, as these Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we by our lives give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we in our day be among those who kindle light. Baruch Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'olam Asher kiddushanu b'mitzvotav V'tzivanu le'hadlik ner Le'hadlik ner shel We turn now to page 28 as we rise for our call to worship Baruch Hu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
31, we read together, Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Your wisdom sets the way on which time and season glide. Your breath guides the sail of the stars, creator of the tide of time and night. You guide the current of day into night, as heaven spans to infinity. You set its course for eternity. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hama'ariv Aravim. Page 33, responsively. Wisdom and wonder, passion and instruction, story and symbol. All these things your Torah gives to us. And the more we devote ourselves to it, the more it grows and gives. What could be a truer token of your abiding love? Than this holiest of your works and the living language that gives it form. Baruch Ata Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, together. Love your, your God with every heartbeat, with every breath, with every conscious act. Keep in mind the words I command you today. Teach them to your children. Talk about them at work, whether you are tired or you are rested. Let them guide the work of your hands. Keep them in the forefront of your vision. Do not leave them at the doorway of your house or outside your gate. They are reminders to do all of my mitzvot so that you can be holy for God. I am Adonai, your God. I led you out of Egypt to become your God. I am Adonai, your God. Page 39, responsively. In a world torn by violence and pain, a world far from wholeness and peace, give us the courage to say, Adonai, there is one God in heaven and earth. The high heavens declare your glory. May earth reveal your justice and love. From bondage in Egypt we were delivered. At Sinai we bound ourselves to your way. Inspired by prophets and instructed by sages, time and again we overcame oppressive forces. Though our failings are many and our faults are great, 
It has been our glory to bear witness to our God, keeping alive in dark ages your vision of a world redeemed. Let us continue to work for the day when the nations will be one and at peace. Then shall we rejoice as Israel did, singing on the shores of the sea. Together, grant, O God, that we may lie down in peace and raise us up our guardian to life renewed. Spread over us the shelter of peace. Guide us with your good counsel. For your name's sake, be our help. Shield and shelter us beneath the shadow of your wings. Defend us against enemies, illness, war, famine, and sorrow. Distance us from wrongdoing. For you, God, watch over us and deliver us. For you, God, are Our gracious, gracious and, and merciful. merciful. Guard, Guard our, our coming, coming and, and our coming to life and to peace evermore. evermore. Blessed are, are you, Adonai, guardian of, of Israel, Israel whose shelter of peace is spread over us, over all your people Israel, and over Jerusalem. Baruch ata Adonai, hapure sukat shalom aleinu, v'al kol amo Yisrael, v'al Yerushalayim. Shabbat 
Shabbat by Nafash, Shabbat by Nafash, Shabbat by Nafash. Together, the people of Israel shall keep Shabbat, observing Shabbat throughout the ages as a covenant for all time. It is a sign for all time between me and the people of Israel. For in six days Adonai made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day God ceased from work and was refreshed. Tefillah continues on pages 46 and 48. Please rise. Adonai sefatai tiftach o fiagitei latecha. Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch ata Adonai. Eloheinu, Elohe avoteinu v'imoteinu. Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah. Ha'el ha'gadol ha'gibor v'hanora. El Elyon, Gomel Chasadim Tovim, Bekone Hakol, Bezocher Chaste Avot, Beimahot, Umevi Gula Livne Vnehem, Leman Shemo Beahava, Melech Ozer, Umoshia Umagain. Baruch atah Adonai, Magin Avraham, Vezrat Sara. Page 50, together. You are forever mighty, Adonai. You give life to all. You sustain life through love, giving life to all. Through great compassion, supporting the fallen, healing the sick, freeing the captive, keeping faith with those who sleep in the dust. Who is like you, source of mighty acts? Who resembles you, a sovereign who takes and gives life, causing deliverance to spring up and faithfully giving life to all? Blessed are you, Adonai, who gives life to all. Baruch Ata Adonai, Mechaye Hakol, Ata Kadosh Vishim Kadosh, Ukadoshim Bechol Yom Michalucha Sela, Baruch Ata Adonai, Ha'el HaKadosh. You are holy, your name is holy, and those who are holy praise you every day. Blessed are you, Adonai, the holy God. Please be seated. Page 55, together. May these hours of rest and renewal Open our our hearts hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may this day fulfill its promise. Baruch Ata Adonai, Mikadesh HaShabbat. Page 57. Ever-present one, may we, your people Israel, be worthy in our deeds and our prayer, wherever we live, wherever we seek you, in this land and Zion restored in all lands. You are our God, whom alone we serve in reverence. Baruch atah Adonai, sh'odcha levadcha bira na'avod. Page 59. Together. God of goodness, we give thanks for the gift of life, wonder beyond words, 
for the awareness of soul, our light within, for the world around us so filled with beauty, for the richness of the earth which day by day sustains us, for all these and more, we offer thanks. Baruch Ata Adonai, Hatov Shimcha Ulacha Nae Lehodot. Page 61. Together. Grant us peace, your most precious gift, O eternal source of peace, and give us the will to proclaim its message to all the peoples of the earth. Bless our country as a safeguard of peace. Its, its advocate, advocate among, among the nations. nations. May, May contentment, contentment reign within our borders, health, health and happiness within our homes. homes. Strengthen the bonds of friendship and fellowship among all the inhabitants of every land. land. Plant, Plant virtue in every soul. And may, may the love of your name hallow every home and every heart. Praised are you, Eternal One, who blesses our people with peace. Baruch Ata Adonai Hamivarech et Amo Yisrael Ba Shalom. Shalom Rav Yisrael Ha Tasi. now for a few moments of silent prayer.
as we come together as a community, grateful for so many blessings in our lives. We also think of those who are in need of healing, a healing of body and mind, spirit and soul. And so we pause now for our Misha Berach, and we think tonight especially of Robert Richter, Ed Hirsch, Renner Rauch, Dan Lightman, as well as all those members of your family and friends who are in need of healing. We join together now in our prayer. The words can be found on page 253. Mm-hmm. Thanksgiving is a special time. We come together around our tables full of delicious food, complete with family and friends. We anticipate this time of year all year long. Sometimes everything works out perfectly. We fill ourselves not only with special delicacies, but also with loved ones. But sometimes things don't go exactly as planned. Maybe the turkey is a bit dry. The cranberry sauce is too runny. The pies are burned. When these things happen, we have to pause and reflect on what is now reality. In the best case scenario, we just go with it. As much as we try to fix things, sometimes circumstances are simply beyond our control. And our tradition helps us appreciate that things are not always the way they seem initially. With Torah, we find that while we plan for good over evil, there are often more shades of gray. The images and stories that fill our earliest chapters of Genesis help us see a picture of family life in ancient times. Some of these episodes are rather puzzling, and some of them are rather relatable. Although we are able to look to commentators, historians, and each other, we are only able to disclose some of the intricacies of our ancestors. We try to distinguish between the positive role models and those who are the more challenging characters, which actions seem right and which ones don't. Lucky enough for us with these shades of gray, we find greater meaning and valuable lessons. This Shabbat, we find a perfect example of a Parsha filled with shades of gray. In Toldot, from the book of Genesis, we read of the unique story of the first twins, Jacob and Esau. The story of these brothers is one that calls to mind many images. Perhaps we think of the sibling rivalry that went on between them and how they are raised by Rebekah and Isaac. However, Perhaps the most overlooked part of the story is their ultimate reconciliation. In the midst of our joy of thanksgiving, the tolerance that develops between Jacob and Esau is worth our time and attention. 
Jacob and Esau were brought into this world as separate individuals. Despite being twins, Rebecca senses that the two boys will be quite different. Torah emphasizes this as we read, two separate people shall issue from Rebekah's body. One people shall be mightier than the other. As they are brought into the world, we immediately see that Jacob and Esau will be stark contrasts of one another. Esau became a man who knew the hunt, a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man staying among the tents. Obviously, these differences led to parental favoritism. Nachmanides notes that Isaac loved Esau more because Esau fed his father delicious venison. Esau grew to be a gifted hunter, and the supply of his father's favorite meat was always available. On the other hand, Rebekah favored Jacob. He was more of a homebody. Jacob was never too far from his mother, which led to Rebekah's firm control over all of Jacob's actions. Here, we see the family conflict that begins in the early years of child rearing. How can we interpret the actions of both Isaac and Esau and Jacob and Rebekah? This is where we could be tempted to make assumptions. We might look to Esau as being the wicked son, and we might assume that Jacob was the wise one. Commentators shy away from making these specific distinctions. Many view Esau as the righteous child and see Jacob as the evil one. One medieval rabbi sees that there was never a son who respected his father more. Esau always approached his father in his best clothes. Above all, the two children were distinct and unlike one another, constantly striving to live in a world according to their own ideologies. From our perspective, they were two unique kids, each with their own styles and strengths. They saw their world in completely different ways. Esau found his outlet in the field, and Jacob preferred to study. He was an intellect who wrestled with the world as it was. Although their journey was bumpy at times, Jacob and Esau do come to terms with each other. They realize their mistakes, and they are able to make amends. Specifically at the end of Toldot, we see that Esau learns from his brother. Despite some of Jacob's shortcomings, Esau is envious of him. He begins to appreciate who his brother is, and how Esau can model some of those good personality traits. In this light, we don't serve ourselves well by distinguishing between good and bad. We must understand the entire person. Ultimately, they grew to appreciate, tolerate, and even love one another. At this season, we strive to appreciate one another, there may even be important times of reconciliation, too. In our modern age, we aren't strangers to strife and turmoil. We can't always control what happens beyond our protected walls. That is why we must strive to create a full sense of shalom, a place of contentment, warmth, and wholeness within our own homes. When we come together with our families and friends, we should stop and reflect. We must acknowledge that while we remain the same, we also have the opportunity to change and to grow. Often when we take the time to engage in meaningful conversations, we come to accept and appreciate the many roads that bind us together. Things aren't always completely good or completely bad. There are many shades of gray which demand our attention and awareness. As we are reminded of the complicated relationship between Jacob and Esau, may we view their relationship as one ultimately based on understanding and compassion. Despite their differences, they learned from one another and made amends. We celebrate the season of Thanksgiving in many diverse ways. We can love our family members uniquely and not uniformly. 
we can place emphasis on quality time together and shy away from moments of strife and conflict. As we are grateful for the blessings of this season, let us truly show our appreciation for all that we have, the stories, legends, and shared history. These are the ways we are sustained today and fortified for a future of growth, appreciation, and tolerance. Amen. We turn now in our prayer books to page 282 and 287 as we rise for Alenu. Alenu lishabeach la don hakol la teit gedula liotzer breishin shelo asanu kigoye aratzon elo samanu kmish pechot adama shelo sam chalkinu kahem vigor alenu kechol amonam. Vanach nu korim, umi shachavim umaudim, leaf name elech, malche hamlachim, hakadosh baruchu, venemar, vahayadunai, lemelech al koharet, vayom hahu, vayom hahu, Please be seated. We continue now on page two hundred and ninety one. There are stars up above, so far away we only see their light, long, long after the star itself is gone, and so it is with people that we loved. Their memories keep shining over ever brightly, though their time with us is done. But the stars that light up the darkest night, these are the lights that guide us. As we live our days, these are the ways we remember. We turn now to page 294. And as we do, we call to heart and to mind all of our loved ones who have departed this earth and gone on to the peace of life eternal. As is our custom, as the name of your loved one is called aloud, you are invited to stand in your place. Following the list of all of our beloved will rise as a congregation. In recent days, we remember Morris Gillespie, and at this season in years past, we remember Bessie Bendelin, Alan Borger, Bertha Cohen, Mary Cohen, Herbert Cooper, Stephen Davis, Eden Doctor, Enos Doctor, Margaret Donsky, Francis Dupree, Sheila Esposito, Zena Evans, Minnie Feldman, Irene Ford, Alfred Friedlander, Anne Goldberg, David Golub, Shelley Gould, Tatiana Grinblatt, Philip Groginski, Helen Haberman, Ruben Hamburger, Elsa Hertzfeld, Morris Hoffman, Pearl Hoffman, Barbie Hyman, Ethel Hyman, Ann Katz, Aaron Kimmel, Mary Klein, William Kolkler, Sandra Koning, Rosa Krieger, Morris Levy, Daryl Lewis, Abraham Lieber, Carl Magaziner, Irving Michelle, Faye Miskin, Beryl Myers, Florence Nathan, David Packler, Amelia Perwin, Samuel Plotkin, Joseph Pollitzer, Edward Pollock, Samuel Popper, Robert Proler, Gertrude Radin, Alan Rest, Sidney Robinson, Eva Roos, David Rosenberg, Phyllis Schaefer, David Schwartz, Harry Schlar, Robert Silvers, Terry Silvers, Bertha Sklar, Fred Stark, Helen Tappick Lerner, Tu Hung Vu, Irving Wadler, George Wardy, Zelda Wiener, Edward Weinman, Arthur Weisberg, Mary Lou Weiss, Sidney Loeb Weiss, Miriam Wizig, Helen Wolf, Ernst Wolf, Ben Wolfman, Audrey Zane, Hilda Zeigfinger, Daniel Zwilling. In each of their honor and their memory, we rise 
and join together in the words of Kaddish. Yit gadal v'yit kadash shemei raba, v'yaman d'yivrach yurte v'yamlich malchute, v'chayachon v'yomechon u'v'chaye d'chol beit Yisrael, v'agalal v'yizman kari v'yimru amin, he shmei raba mevarach le'alam almei almaya, yit barach v'yishtabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit roman v'yit nasei, Vietadar, Vietale, Vietalal, Shemedi Kudisha, Brihu, Leila Minkol, Birhata, Vishirata, Tushbehata, Venechamata, Dami Ram, Vyama, Vimru, Amen. Hehe Shlama, Rabba, Min Shamaya, Vahaim, Alenu, Ve Alko, Yisrael, Vimru, Amen. O se shalom, Biromav, Huya se shalom. Alinu ve alko Yisrael, vimru amen. May the source of peace send peace to all who mourn and bring comfort to all of the bereaved among us as together we say amen. Please be seated. We sanctify this day with the sweetness of our Sabbath wine. The blessing can be found on page five. We join together. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Borei peri hagafen. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher kitshanu b'mitzvoto, Veratzavanu, Vishabat called show, Yava Ratson in Hilanu, Zikaron the Maase, Vereshit, Ki who yom terhila, let me cry a kodesh, Zehelet siad, Mitraim, Ki vanu. The Otanu Kitashta Mikolamim The Shabbat Kochecha The Ahava Uvratzon In Chaltanu Baruch Adonai Mekadesh HaShabbat Amen. We will conclude our service tonight by joining together in singing Hallelujah. Let all that breathes praise Adonai, Hallelujah. The words can be found on page 339. Please rise. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah. Come on. 
Adonai Eloheinu velohe avotenu veimotenu, our God and God of all generations, as we come together on this Shabbat of Thanksgiving, let us truly pause and reflect as we offer our praise to you, God. Help us to have strength. Help us to have courage. And most importantly, grant us and all of your creations everywhere with lasting and enduring peace. Amen. Amen. Shabbat, Shabbat Shalom. Shalom. Thank you for being a part of our community on this Shabbat. I hope that you enjoyed our service and your soul is uplifted with strength and peace to last you into the coming week. Please know that I, as well as the rest of our clergy team, are available to you with any questions you may have about our sacred congregation. Thank you for joining us. Shabbat Shalom.